Hey everyone, Nicole here to show you a quick tip on adding texture to your images using smart objects. Now the reason you might want to use smart objects is to retain the editability of the file, non-destructive editing, as well as the ability to replace those files after you've edited and created your image. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you how this works. I have this image and I'm going to go ahead and add some texture to it. But first I'm going to turn this layer into a smart object. I'll go ahead and right click the background layer and select convert to smart object. Now I'm going to head over to Bridge and locate the texture file that I want to use in this image. I'm going to be using a couple of textures from a company called Texture of Photo. I'll go ahead and show you all of the images that they have available. These are some of the textures that came with the texture pack that I have. They're online at textureofphoto.com. They have several different packages. You can buy one texture individually or you can buy them in packets. So it's a really great resource to use if you're looking for additional textures to add to your images. I'll go ahead and go back into Bridge. I'm just going to locate something. I'm going to go ahead and choose this sandstone. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to select Place and Photoshop. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring it as a smart object into my open document. Now you know it's a smart object because it has this X down the middle. And what I need to do is I need to actually, I need to place it in the correct position, resize it as needed. When I'm ready, I click this checkbox at the top. Next I need to blend this into the bottom layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select the blending mode, overlay. You could also use soft light, that'd be another good option. I'll show you real quickly. It's just a softer version. I also want to remove the color from that texture layer. You can see it's a bunch of yellow. I'm not really going for that. I don't really like it. So I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer to remove that color. I go up to the adjustments panel and click on black and white. And you'll notice that the first thing that happens here is it changes the entire document to black and white. Now I don't want that to happen. So I need to clip this to the layer below. There are two ways you can do this. You can either go into the properties panel and click on the clip to layer button, or you can hover in between these two layers, hold the option or alt key, and you'll see that icon change. Once it changes, go ahead and click and you're good to go. You can continue adding as many layers as you want. I'll go ahead and add another black and white layer. I need to clip it once again. I'll hold my option key and click in between those two layers. And I'm going to change this black and white layers blending mode down to overlay, which kind of adds a little bit of contrast and harshness to the image. Now I'm going to go back to the texture layer and reduce the opacity of the layer. Just click on that in the layers panel and bring it down. So I have a nice texture added to my image. But what if I decided that this is not the texture that I wanted to use? Well, because this is a smart object, what I can do is just replace this file with a new one. To do that, you want to right click over here in the right side. When I do that, you'll see I have some options come up. One thing to note is that you don't want to right click on the thumbnail or let's say you had a layer mask attached to this. You want to make sure that you're not clicking on those because you get a different set of menu items. So click over here in the blank space near the text area, select replace contents. Now I'm just going to go back to that texture of photo. I'll just select a, let's find a leaf one. All right, I'll add spruce to it. So there, now I have a completely brand new texture file and I can just keep going back and forth and replacing these until I find something that I like. You'll notice that it kept all of my settings, my blending mode, and it kept those adjustment layers above it as well. Alternatively, I can go back to that main image because I turned it into a smart object and do the same thing. I can right click, replace contents, navigate to my file. This file is a little too big for the document, so I'm going to go ahead and do Command T to transform that. Now Command Zero, which will show me the entire size of my image so I can size it down. And then click that checkbox to place it. And now I have a new image in my texture document. So you can go back and forth between these two and find new texture layers or even new actual image layers to add to your images. And be sure to check out textureofphoto.com if you are looking for more texture images to add to your collection.